Okay, so we're going to uh, continue on around uh, the other point, right on the right at the end of the screen. That's going to take us uh, to the uh, eastern face of the shore, which is probably the most unforgiving part of this trip. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's the southern, sorry, the eastern shore. This is probably the most unforgiving shoreline on this island. And here we go. I'm heading along the eastern shore of Pai Island, and uh, I don't know if you can pick this up, but uh, this is not a very forgiving shoreline at all. There is no place to land here in case it uh, picks up, so anybody who's ever planning on paddling this uh, stretch needs to be aware of that. Okay, so you can see the uh, yeah, you can you can see the Thunder Cape in the background there. We're rounding uh, uh, the Turtle Head here. Off to my right is Angus Island in front of Bill there. So we've gone about uh, 22 maybe 23 kilometers at this stage and uh, that uh, big hump there on the left that's uh, that's the turtle head there's thunder cape in the background that's a beautiful sight
Okay, so we've rounded the uh, turtle head. We're heading northwest. Uh, these swells are. Oh, they're turning into a good meter swell at times. Uh, this is going to help push us uh, along here. We're coming up on a spot that we normally camp at, but it's going to be a real, real bore to try and land there with these swells coming in like this. So the best option is to just carry on to that point ahead of me and try to get around there and just be, be sheltered. <coughs> Quite sure if you can see this, but uh, this water is really clear. You can see right to the bottom. It's getting rather shallow where we are, but it's really neat to see that. If this were rock, I wouldn't be doing this. Now this is our uh, beach that we landed on. It's actually sand. This is probably about the only sand beach you're going to get. Off in the distance there is uh, Lunder Bay. Welcome Islands there or somewhere. Yeah, it's all good here. Well, here's our home away from home. The fridge. So here's the uh, sunrise coming over the uh, sleeping giant. Got a jet flying over the uh, sleeping giant as the sun's coming up. Pretty neat. There you have it, sunrise over the sleeping giant. Out here, by islands. Eastern shore. There's the big camp. The big boats. And Bill. Okay, so we're heading out in a flat calm condition this morning, <coughs> 10 after 8 in the morning. We've gone 27.4 k so far since yesterday at a boat. Oh, I guess about 8 o'clock in the morning, we go up Flatland Harbor. So now we're going along the north shore here and we'll soon be heading uh, heading uh, south, going around the uh, boring side of Pie Island. So 
it's 10 in the morning. Uh, you can see Flatland Island in the background there on the, on the right. We should be coming up on the uh, <coughs> derelict lighthouse pretty soon. There's your loon. Okay, so the winds are starting to pick up. We're coming out of the lee of uh, High Island here. The winds are coming out of the southwest. We have to uh, cross over to our right there to uh, Flatland. I have a feeling these waves are going to start building up. So hopefully we'll get to that. So there's the old lay house. Um, this thing used to be all faded and cracked paint. Now they've gone and restored it. They've actually done landscaping, everything. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I'm starting to crossing the uh, flatland from Pi. Bill wants to go from way over there. I don't know why, but all right. Here we go. Southwest winds. Okay, so I made the uh, crossing to uh, uh, Flatland Island from high. It took approximately 30, uh, see about 40 minutes. That's about the norm in uh, calm conditions like this. So we'll get around flat land. Whoa! Oh, those ugly, nasty cormorants. Just sitting there waiting for a meal. Well, we're into the home stretch here. Okay, so 47.3 kilometers it was to uh, circumnavigate Island from this location, Flatland Harbor. 